Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress. I'm here with an oracle deck called the Oracle of the Unicorns. And it just came in the mail today. I'm so excited because I love unicorns. So it is by Cordelia Francesca Brabs. I'm not sure if she's doing the art or the writing. Anyway, it comes in this nice box. The most enchanting of mystical creatures. Unicorns are a symbol of miracles, purity, and magic. Like mermaids and fairies and dragons, unicorns too have a distinct and powerful spiritual energy. Delve into their wondrous realm through the oracle of the unicorns to reawaken your intuitive abilities, your innate wisdom, and your unique gifts, your extraordinary courage, and your divine potential. Alrighty, let's look inside. So it has this nice book. I haven't even looked at the book yet. I barely just opened it and flipped through the cards because they were sticky. So, let's see. Introduction. I'm sure it's mostly like all of the books. They just kind of tell you how to use them. Calling the unicorns. It's a little wrinkly. Meet your unicorn guides and bless your deck. So I have to do that, but I, I do. I like to look at it, then do a flip through, then bless the deck, then do my readings. So that's kind of how my order of when I get cards goes. Use some layout spreads, and here are the meanings behind each one. So I just, I did, the artwork in this particular unicorn deck really, really appealed to me. I know I've seen some other ones, but I really like this one better. It's just really pretty. And, you know, it's very simple and straightforward. So maybe a little bit fluffy, but that's me. I'm fluffy. And it'll give you some good um, messages here and there. I'll probably use this for my November reading. What's going to happen in November with some fairy cards, I think. And so the author is, yep, it is Cordelia Francesca Brebs, and I don't know if she's also doing the artwork. There's some different artists, I guess. Yeah, a few different artists involved in this. Oh, a bunch of different artists, but they all are wonderful. Okay, and then in the back it, back it shows you the list of artworks and who did them. Hey, it's the Celtic Tree Oracle. I might have to get that one too. <laughs> That's me, the Celtic Tree. All right, guys, let's look inside. I mean, right off the bat, abundance, hello. Okay, everybody, you're gonna have an abundant November. I can feel it, because these came for November readings. So right away, abundance to you all. Enjoy the beauty of life, you, your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. Now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. Adventure. Dare to do things differently. Manifest your travel dreams. Move to a new location. Anger. Safely express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. Honor all of your emotions as sacred. I like that very much. You know, I like the fact that we don't have to hide our anger. We do need to express. We need to express everything. Awareness. 
Live in the moment. Be conscious of your thoughts. Look for signs and guidance. Balance. Take time to relax. Indulge a little more or less. Set boundaries with your work. That's good. Beloved, prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning in your relationship. Believe you are lovable. You are. You're so lovable. Just want to wrap my arms and my hair and everything around your lovableness. Celebration. A positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success. Enjoy your achievements. Compassion. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. Courage. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. Courage. Courage. Cycles. Everything has its right time. Now this one's more for me. That one's more for DM. This one's for me. Everything has its right time. Honor the cycles of your body. Time into the moon's magic. Tune into the moon's magic. Dance. Did a little dancing yesterday at the Renaissance Festival. Move your body to music. Dance with the rhythm of life. Manifest your dreams through dance. Delight. Count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in simple things. Always expect the best. Discernment. All is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing. Keep your dreams a secret. Secrets sometimes are necessary. Keeping secrets. You gotta be careful with certain people. Expansion. Spread your wings and soar. Share your message and shine your light. Show the world what you're made of. Love that too. So cool. Flow. Find an easier path forwards. Surrender the outcome. Release your expectations. That's neat too. Freedom. Live wild and free. Choose your freedom. Claim your independence. That's more a Pegasus than a unicorn. That's neat. Friendship. Seek out your soul family. Surrender yourself with positive people. Okay, can we just listen to the airplane flying while we look at freedom? All right, here we go. Friendship. Seek out your soul family. Surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time socializing. That's so cute. Gentleness. Be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness. Speak words of love. Goddess. Honor your divine feminine energy. See your inner beauty. Love every part of you. So pretty. That's just so pretty. <sighs> Growth. Seek out a mentor or guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. It's good. Healer. You have powerful healing gifts. Have faith in your abilities. Stay true to your path as a, as a healer. Hope. I love this one. Look at his hair. His mane. Look at those eyes. They're so intense. Sorry about my reflection in here. It's a very sunny day. You can see me. Ah, I'll wave at you. <laughs> Hope. Stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look up to the light. Look up to the light. It's so nice. Imagination. Envision a new reality. Let's see if I turn, turn off my lamp. Uh, okay, not much different. 
Give yourself permission to dream. Believe in unlimited possibilities. I got a new tripod too. You can see it in the reflection. It's, it, I don't know if it's actually sturdier, but I think it is a little bit. Innocence. Take time to play. Nurture your inner child. Live with a childlike sense of wonder. Intention. Be clear and decisive. Focus on what you really want. Be bold with your quest to the universe. I like that too. Be bold. Intuition. Well, she just makes me think of Arwen so much. Lord of the Rings. Listen to the whispers of your heart. Use divination tools to help you decide. Trust your intuition no matter what. Trust. I gotta remind myself that. Trust, trust, trust. Intuition. Follow your heart. Leadership. Step into your leadership. Share your message. Inspire and empower others. Magic. Isn't that so pretty? <laughs> this makes me feel like how I felt yesterday in the magical world. Make a wish. Believe in miracles. Magic surrounds you. Miracles. Have faith that your miracles is on its way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender to the how. That is so important. Oh my God, I got goosebumps. Surrender to the how. Just surrender to it, okay? I'm going to remind myself too. Surrender to the how. Surrender to the how. Now, surrender to the how. <laughs> nature. Ground yourself. Find a sanctuary in nature. Connect with the elementals. Isn't that incredible too? I think I want some painting like that in my bedroom. Partnerships. Teamwork will give you a better result. Find trustworthy people to partner with. Build up a talented support team. Yep. <laughs> Passion. Do what excites you. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. Past lives. Release your past life karma. You're an old soul with deep wisdom. Healing your past lives will raise your vibration. Just gotta heal it and let it go. It's interesting what I've learned about karma. That it's something that we all, it's another thing that we chose not just something that's attached to us. It's a choice too, because we believed in it at one point and we believed it was attached to us. We just kind of like, oh, that's so crazy. Why did we do that to ourselves? But that's what we did. So now we have to heal. Patience. Pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play whilst you wait. Polarity. Integrate your shadow side. There can be no light without the dark. Understand the law of polarity. No light without the dark. I totally believe in that and it's one of my favorite, I mean, just, just a, a knowing that I've always known. And to find somebody accept both sides of me is that's the that has always been the kind of the hard part. Maybe not the hard part, but it hasn't always been the easy part. <laughs> okay. Possibility. Raise your standards. Elevate your expectations. You have unlimited potential. Prosperity. A gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. That's interesting. Manage it with love. 
rebirth, reinvest yourself. Oh, reinvent? I was like, reinvest in yourself, or no, reinvent yourself. Reinvent yourself. Give life to your dreams. Create a new reality. Receive. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty art. Be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon. And sanctuary. Take time out from the world. Spend more time alone. Meditate or go on retreat. A beautiful coloring right there. I drew some unicorns myself. Strength. This challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation. Because blue eyes. And I love that dark unicorn. That's neat. Support. Ask for help. Get more rest. Nurture yourself. trust. Leap into the unknown. Have faith and move forward. Believe you will fly. And that's it. See you guys. Oracle of the Unicorn. Really beautiful of the unicorns. So be seeing this, these, this deck and readings very soon. Hope you enjoyed. Faith, trust, and pixie dust.